honestly, I felt like I, I felt like he was trying to criminalize me. Her instincts kicked in to defend herself while she suffered injuries and required medical attention. It was her attacker that ended up on the stretcher. I signed an executive order directing federal agencies to combat this resurgence of xenophobia. The Department of Justice is strengthening its partnership with the AAPI community to prevent these crimes. Viciously kicking an Asian woman to the ground and then repeatedly in the head. My name is Jacqueline Lay. Um, I am a high school student. I'm, I was born in Vietnam and I was raised in America and my parents and I are citizens. Uh, my name is Helen Chen. Um, I live in San Francisco. I am Chinese American born. I work for UCSF Pay Management. I'm the practice coordinator. My name is the Kiyom Ki. Occupation is a small business owner. Ethnicity is ASEAN. Nationality is Korea. My name is Kenti Lin. And uh, I was born in Taiwan and immigrated to the U.S. in the, in the early 60s. My name is Su Lin. I born in China mainland and moved to Taiwan. And from Taiwan, I come to the States. I was mocked for like my eyes, um, my name. My name, my birth name, my legal name is actually different. Made fun of for my food, my culture, and in a way I kind of distanced myself from my own culture until about only a couple years ago. Lately as a COVID, I guess things have changed. People like say mean things like, oh, you know, you bought the virus, you know, we have no job. That it's not us, it's, you know, the virus has been here, you know, all over the place. Every time you have one group of people going to the other, the other to new place, and then the the person on the the group on the originals become you, know, they will feel threatened. People in Vietnam think of America as like a really nice place. It's really rich and I'm in in a way perfect. I thought when I decide to move in here, there are a lot of the many opportunity and no prejudice in the USA. As an Asian, as a Chinese, um, when I first came here, uh, their impression is our well, Chinese is always the either work in the restaurant or run the mat. But now, a kind of the discrimination to the Asian and the, the limited opportunity for the girl or as the Asian. Asian and Asian American women have been stereotyped, fetishized, and exoticized. America is great, but uh, it's not really perfect in terms of um, stereotypes or racial equality. Americans still think the Asian is still the foreigner. People seem to be more angry, they're upset, so somehow they're using us as a scapegoat and it's, it's, that's not right, you know, you know, you should be, you know, busy elderly people. And I was really upset when that man out of nowhere, he's just walking and the guy came in and hit him on the cement and he died. It was really unnecessary. Asian hate crime has always been a thing in America. It's not new. It's not new. Some people think um, that it's such a surprise Asians are getting hated on or, or beaten, even murdered. This isn't something that just popped out because of COVID-19. It's been happening ever since Asian Americans stepped foot into America. When I was still working, and I went to the bank, and the bank manager, he thought I was from, uh, 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 working from, uh, in the restaurant. 
I'm an associate joke with me, and I just kind of, you know, just take it as it is. I was an engineer, but uh, I had no point to brag about it. So anyway, we took, took care of the business. I have a deposit duty to be made. He was kind of surprised that the, you know, I have that kind of money to deposit. For example, back then there's like Japanese internment camps and there's the um, Asian rail, the Chinese railroad workers. Nowadays it's more hidden, but it's still there. Like fetishism, fetishization of Asians and um, and the model minority myth, myth that we have a lot of money or we are naturally smart um, and we have a mindset where um, Asians are doing well there's no need to help Asian Americans people might look down us however we try very hard to exceed other people so wherever we, we go, we have to work very hard. We have been discriminated against and I've experienced racism, my parents have, our whole lives. It, it's just, many people didn't know about it because there was no coverage on it. The news didn't care about it. Um, there weren't anybody on social media talking about it. So it was pretty much hidden unless you were Asian or you experienced it as an Asian American or were around Asians. I was getting on the bus early in the morning and as someone who um, was racist and said, go back to China, you know, you bought the virus, you know, go get out of here. And that's like, this is very, this is 6.30 in the morning, you're trying to get on the bus. It's very unusual to have someone speak to you like that. Of my friend who live in the LA and who has a successful business in the USA and then live in the very rich and the safe place, but he said to me some issue when he was the jogging. Some his neighbor shouted at him, "Go back to your country!" When he is jogging, so he was really embarrassed. Because the place is really well educated. My grandparents can't go out and take their walks anymore. For Asians, they think that we have money, we carry cash, we don't like credit credit cards, so maybe that's why they're picking on them. But I feel like that's really that's really discriminating. When I'm out, I can probably defend myself. My parents can probably defend themselves. But my grandparents, especially my grandma. She's she won't be able to do much in that situation and I'm scared for her life more than mine. We are very careful, very careful, prepare if if anything we can avoid, we avoid. Be vigilant, watch your surroundings and then prepare how to react. When I walk I'm um, constantly looking, you know back and back and making sure no one's following me. So when I walk, I walk zigzags and I have my pepper spray and my flashlight in my pocket at all times. Of course, the first thing is to acknowledge that Asian Americans are getting hate or Asians in general are getting hate in America. We contribute as much as anybody. I think the government needed to walk to change the perception to the every foreigner and to understand the Asian culture as well. More education, more education, so that people know how to handle things rather than just use violence. And education means, uh, you know, the promoted cultural understandings. Changing the next generation, teaching kids the right way, understand, teaching kids the history. We needed to know USA is the immigration <laughs> yeah, country, right? So we needed to understand each other. I think people like, as the Asians, I guess before, like my mom, they don't say anything. Oh, you know, people name call you or whatever. But I think now you really need to speak up.
and say, hey, that, that was not nice what you said. You know, we need to speak up, let our voices be heard. You know, hey, like we're a person, 